Do you know about Okie Dokie? How it works? You really want to know? Come, follow me. Now, I'm going to explain to you about how Okie Dokie works, which is system that works inside the Okie Dokie that is called Super Heterodyne AM Receiver. Translate the frequency signal to modulate, to modulate its frequency mixer. Okay, this operation is called as frequency mixer or frequency exchange or heterodyne. And the bandwidth for the intermediate frequency is 10 kilohertz. This is the block diagram for super heterodyne AM amplifier. Okay. You can see from here, this is the antenna, which is the antenna will receive the signal from the frequency from 540 till the 1600 kHz. At this, at this time, the signal that has been the antenna that receives the signal at like sound like this. Hello. Like this lah. Okay, then the RF amplifier, which is the signal is tuned and amplified. Like the sound before this is like hello, and it will amplify the sound. Like hello. Okay, after the next process of RF amplifier is the process which is we call this is the heterodyne process, which the local oscillator will generate a single frequency signal that has negligible AM and the signal will transfer to the mixer and the previous signal will turn into the mixer and will mixing using the signal okay after that so the next process is the filter which is at this time the signal will remove the undesired signals and the sounds too and also the noise okay and after that the signal that has been filtered will transfer to the intermediate frequency amplifier and the at this at the moment at this moment the signal will be amplified it almost the same like radio frequency amplifier and then the next step is demodulator the audio signal is recovered and further amplified the last and final stage is audio amplifier and then it will turn out and and produce the sound the smooth sound like hello okay. there are two advantages for using super heterodyne receiver first allowing the component used to operate in intermediate frequency so it can optimize the usage and making the cost cheaper. Second, it can reduce the weakness component used that cannot operate in high frequency. In order for super heterodyne receiver to work, there are three parameters that we need to use. First, carrier range of radio frequency. Two, middle band frequency and 3. Intermediate frequency bandwidth 0.535 to 1.605 MHz is the carrier range of radio frequency For the middle band frequency, it is equal to 0.455 kHz and intermediate frequency bandwidth is equal to 10 kHz